Hello, welcome to the Wedding Reporter Podcast. I have an engagement report for you today, and I have Morgan Miles and Taylor Place. And Morgan is a singer, songwriter, artist, and truth teller. She's a powerhouse vocalist with remarkable five octave range whose talent has captured the attention of millions, amassing over 30 million views across social media, aided by her top three finish on the 2022 season of NBC's The Voice. And during her recent Grand Ole Opry debut, Miles received a standing ovation, a testament to her authentic artistry and hard-earned success. A multi-instrumentalist and relentless touring artist, Miles performs over 100 shows a year, garnering recognition from major outlets, including Billboard, American Songwriter, and Rolling Stone. And she is engaged to Taylor Place, and he is a commercial in commercial construction and he is from south carolina born and raised and he has a previous life in racing dirt bikes but he also enjoys the outdoors and his family runs many movie theaters up and down the east coast so welcome you guys i'm so happy to have you hello thanks for having (laughs) us yeah (laughs) Oh my gosh, I saw your article on People Magazine about your engagement and <laughs> it just sounds like a wild ride and so I like cannot wait to hear it from your mouths. So, but let's start from the very beginning, like how did you guys meet? <laughs> well, we, met, we had a mutual we had a mutual friend introduce us. Um he was helping a friend that's a director of yours on my booking agents. Um, there was an artist that he was there doing a music video for. And you just happened oh, to cool. like, yeah, I'll come help out Frank that day. And um, I don't know what happened. Like, I wasn't there, but this is you, yeah, Frank. So, uh, <laughs> I was talking to a booking agent and we knew a lot of mutual people in the industry. And uh just one thing led to another and uh he's like hey have you ever heard of morgan miles like i think y'all should start talking and um so we just started the connection that way started talking and yeah it was funny so jared is very protective over me and he like apparently vetted the crap out of him that (laughs) night when you he didn't even say it like frank was like taylor has the hots for morgan and then jared was like my morgan and so that is when Jared goes, we need to talk, takes him over the side. And I mean, worse than like what my parents would have done. To me. That's what's so surprising. The fact that he, that he still wanted to meet me after that. So then yeah. Jared sends me this like selfie video and it's hysterical because Jared goes, hello, Morgan Miles. And then he goes over to Taylor's face and you're like, Hey, you should come hang out with us. Jerry's like, she's in Nashville. Like, <laughs> oh yeah, next time. Tell us where your next show is at. So, anyways, I was intrigued, and and ta- or Jared had said a bunch of great things about Taylor, and so um, you guys were gonna come out to my show in December in LA, and I was like, no, this is gonna be way too busy. And so then I was like, I have nothing going on for New Year's Eve. Why don't we get a group of friends together? So we went to Savannah, Georgia, and that's where we met for the first time in person. But we were texting a lot back and forth, and we called a little bit. And yeah, Yeah. thank God we did because it was really awkward when we (laughs) met in person. If we had it, I don't even know if you would have said a word to me. Yeah, Um, right. Yeah. Oh my gosh. So it was through mutual friends. Mutual friends. Yeah, I was was wondering that because I was like, you're in a different state, Taylor. And yeah. like, how did that all happen? So it was just through friends that were like, oh my gosh. And I love that your friend Jared was just like grilling him. Really? And Taylor, you were oh. just up for it. You were like, is worth it for this girl. Like, well, I will that, go through the ringer for it was her. like curiosity <laughs> killed the cat. I'm like, now I got to meet this girl. Because like, yeah. as many questions as I was asked, you got to figure it out. Yeah, right. Yeah. Oh my gosh. That's awesome. So that was back in... Was it 22 or was it last year? It was last year. It was December okay. 2023. Yeah. Okay. And then you guys started dating after that. And was it long distance for a while? Still is. Still is. Still is. That's Still right. Is. You were just in town for, yeah. I mean, you've been in town, but that's why we scheduled this interview now. So we could have both of you here, which is awesome. And thank you so much. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, um, in my world, it's like, I'm traveling so much 
mm-hmm. the way it is. And I feel like honestly, the fact that it was long distance even helped with like communication and, and if you really, really want to make it work, then you're going to make it happen long distance. Mm-hmm. And so it, I think both of us, were, we were seriously wanting to be in a relationship that made sense. And um, yeah, like the long distance thing, I don't think, I think people talk badly about it, but I feel like in this day and age, it's honestly a good thing because of communication. Like, mm-hmm. I feel like it wasn't a bad thing, but by any means. And like Jared wouldn't have introduced him to me if he wasn't really to <laughs> Right. <himself>. So. Exactly. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's so uh, true. Okay, so, and then Taylor, you decided to propose. When did all of this kind of, like, planning happen? Um, well, I, I knew that she was the one, and um, I was like, all right, I got to start looking for a ring. Um, but I was kind of looking for something a little bit special, just like everybody is. And uh, so I tried a couple different jewelry stops while I was traveling and just nothing was really working out. Uh, I have a family friend that's in the jewelry business back in South Carolina. So I went to him, I said, Hey, I'm looking for something. This is who it's for. And I don't have a time frame of when I want it done. Um, I knew we were getting married sometime next year. So I didn't really have a time frame. Mm-hmm. And I said, you know, just take your time. And when you find some stuff, let me know. And, uh, it was probably, I didn't hear from him, from him for about a month, maybe a month and a half. And then all of a sudden I get a text message hey, I got a diamond in, but we got to act fast on it. And oh. so I contacted my parents and said, hey, um, yeah, I think it was a Friday. I said, can you go down to the jewelry shop and just look at it and let me know what your thoughts are. And uh, so they went there. They said, yes. They're like, yeah, no, that's what you're looking for. And wow. then it was time to work on the ring part. Um, yeah. So then uh, at that time I was up in Maine working. And so uh, I figured, I should probably contact her parents and say, Hey, I got the diamond. We're working on the ring. Um, probably should start planning a proposal in. So, yeah. Well, you had already wow. asked dad for my hand, oh, which they both that. spilled the beans within like <laughs> separately within like a couple hours. Like, oh like, my God. I just asked him. And my dad's like, Hey, he just asked me. I'm like, you guys are not supposed to tell me Oh anything. my gosh, that so I is knew too he was propose, funny. But I, I didn't think it was going to be when he did it, for sure. I mean, I was mm-hmm. absolutely shocked, but yeah. yeah. So yeah, walk us through that proposal. So you were coming back from LA, is that right, Morgan? Like on a flight? Yeah. So okay. recently I've been, um, this whole first half of the year has just been really blocked in LA for uh, recording my new studio album that'll be out next year but we had just Yay. done seven days of you know 14 hour days every single day wow. like in the studio with tracking and I had to get up at 3 a.m to get home for like a 5 30 a.m flight wow. from LAX which everybody that's been through LAX it's freaking Help. and so yeah I was just in a mood and I even posted I was like what do you get when it's 5 30 in the morning so, uh, like, I'm just like, so you you were probably like oh god she's already had a day um but yeah I was coming home and they had told me that I had to go to our dear friend's 50th surprise birthday party but the next day I had to go to Virginia which was like an eight oh. hour drive for his family reunion so wow. I'm like, okay, I'm in zombie mode. I'm gonna get yeah. there. I will do this. Um, and <laughs> yeah, I know. Do you want me to tell you how it was like? Because I feel like <laughs> where, what happened was we called my parents and they got involved. That's that's the thing. They got that's a little help. Oh gosh, <laughs> it was one of those things. I, I knew I had to get her when she was distracted because oh yeah. Mm-hmm. She's very quick to catch on. So I'm like, all right, when can I do this? I knew she was flying out to LA. I just got the ring and I'm like, we, I think we can pull this off if we're really quick about it. And so I called her parents. I was like, hey, uh, right now, I just picked up the ring. Um, I think I was in Maine. So I was like, I can book a flight. I have the <gasps> ring with me. I'm coming down this weekend. Can we put something together? And wow. um, You only had the ring for like a week. Yeah, it wasn't long. <laughs> 
And because uh, he was so like, I gotta afraid. get this on her finger. Yeah, he was so afraid that he was gonna spill the beans because he's really bad about like surprises. Because yeah. he yeah. Had, like, gave me my birthday gift and like this beautiful jewelry box by hand. Wow, that's and amazing. For months though, he starts telling me the secret birthday gift, and sure enough. <laughs> He ended up spilling the beans before it was my birthday. So I think you were just like, I'm going to, I'm going to mess it up. I'm going to mess it up. But from there, you know, <laughs> my parents were like, prank is on. Like this is the moment, <laughs> our moment we've been waiting for because I hate surprises. So yeah. I hate them. I, there's so many surprises in my life all the time that the things that we can't control are just amazing. But mm. I, I made the mistake of saying to my mom, well, the one time I want to be surprised in my life is my wedding proposal. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that does oh, not be prank. That doesn't mean prank. <laughs> but um, so I get off the plane. I'm tired, but I'm like, listen, I'm just going to try to stay awake, go not take a nap. You know, I wanted to get a spray tan. I wanted to get, I had to repack. Um, all this kind of stuff. And my mom's like, kind of following me all day. She's like, are you sure you don't want to take a nap? And I'm like, no, I want to get back on. Cause that's on Eastern time, you know? And, right. Uh, no, like, are you, are you not, why are you getting a spray tan? I go, because I look like a ghost and I'm not going to see my boyfriend and his family. I would and be on a lake all week. I'm yeah. just, like, why are you on me? So then it was like, why don't you wear, you know, that blue dress that I got you? And I was like, no, I just got a spray tan. <laughs> then it was like, why are you asking me like to put more makeup on? Why is my hair not looking? I was like, let's go to the surprise party. Let's go. And so we're oh. down the road. Apparently we passed you guys that they're just sitting ducks waiting for us to get out of the no house. Way. And um, I, my mom all of a sudden we're on about 10 minutes from the house goes, Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. There there's cops at the house. And again, no. I'm, in such, I'm such a frank, like frantic state <laughs> because I'm tired. So I yeah. just like the house is burning down and my dog's inside. That's where, where I went. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh. Like where I went because there's an older dryer that is upstairs and I just put clothes and it was super hot that day. And I just thought the house is burning down. And so I'm freaking so out scary. and I'm like, why are you not as, except like as me, it's the, it's the fire department and everything. Yeah, freaking out like me. Yeah. yeah. So my dad <laughs> then starts driving recklessly, like just so that. I oh guess, my God. I, you, and he's so bad at lying. So he was just quiet the whole time. But my mom's like, Hey, Tommy, like, just so chill. And I was like, this isn't your Emma. Like, see, if I was yeah. with it, I would have been like. <laughs> well, that's all I had to get. Yeah, what's here. going on here? Like, what, <laughs> why are you so chill? Like, usually yeah. I'm calming you down. So right. um, we turn around, we get back here. There's no cops. But see, I'm in such a state that I'm thinking, we live on a lake, and I thought, somebody had drowned oh my lake. gosh oh. so i thought all the emergency vehicles were in the back because they still yeah. kind of had the urgent tone mom and dad were like morgan you better come see this and i'm like Whoa. so then i'm like like and then i see him in the backyard and i go what the i mean of course i was like relieved in a massive way but right. i couldn't even catch up to it so yeah I'm walking out and walking down the stairs to get to him and it was great because I knew this had nothing to do with you either, but there was like this step and repeat, like frame thing with the sheet and this like balloon arch and the balloons, it was so hot. So this balloon arch, it's popping. Like the balloons are popping. <laughs> oh my gosh. And you're sweating bullets because it's so hot. And he's shaking. My friend Callie, um, she's blasting Celine Dion and her husband. <laughs> That's amazing. Her husband had just bought this drone for his 30th birthday. So I knew all about this drone. So I'm hearing Zzz. like we need a drone shot. We need a drone oh, shot. Oh, it's so good. So he's on one knee and honestly, I don't even remember you getting down on a knee, but you were like, will you? That's all I remember from it. Cause I, and my response was, are we not going to a 15th birthday party? Like, are we not going to the party? And you're like, babe, you got to say yes or no. 
exactly <laughs> same. So I'm like, oh yeah, my so gosh. Wow. I, uh, <laughs> you guys got me. Yeah. I was like, of course, of course. But yeah, I was uh, right. Whew. There was a lot that went into that. Yeah. So Taylor, did you plan with her parents like, tell her that the cops are at my house or was that something that they just like came up with on their own it was a little bit of both i all that really? credit on it because <laughs> i uh, i flew in a couple of days early I, I was trying to figure out what's the best way to keep her distracted so she doesn't like facetime me and realize i'm in her city and right like, all right you know I, I gotta go find a hotel and make it look like i'm at a lake house type thing in virginia and she's asking right. me all these questions like oh how's the weather there and i'm like uh it's great. And <laughs> then I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. I can't FaceTime tonight. I, my phone's acting up, this and that. And the whole time I'm working with her parents and uh, they, they're like, well, we got this idea. And I was like, y'all know her better than me, I guess. Like if she's going to go for it, it seems, it seems intense, but I like it. <laughs> oh my gosh. That is so good. I feel like I should have had your parents come on too and tell their side of the story because I'm sure that's just hilarious. I still don't know why you could have just forgotten a wallet. And dad's yeah. like, no, but you yeah. been like, I'll pay for it. Or something. I've been like, no, like you had control of the wheel. If you wanted to do that, like, yeah. why do we have to go to emergency? Yeah. And by the way, I get that from my mother. So like, yeah. so she knows how I'm going to react. Oh yeah, totally. Oh man. But they really threw you for a loop though. I mean, I so it that. paid pay off that. all yeah, exactly. exactly. <laughs> so that was just back in July. And since then, have you guys like started wedding planning? And like, <laughs> what has like post engagement sort of been like for you? Well, um, yeah, we've done pretty well. We already know our date. It's October 18th, 2025. Yay. Awesome. Um, yeah. Like a week after the engagement, um, we started our prenuptial um, planning with our church, my church, um, here in Nashville. So we already had the cathedral and I'm excited about that. I used to be a lector at the cathedral and, um, my uncle, my great uncle is a priest. So I've always wanted him to marry me. And honestly, one of the first people he even met of my family was uncle Mike, father Mike. And, um, because (laughs) Right after we met in Savannah, about a week later, my grandmother, who I'm extremely close with, ended up in hospice. And that's oh, I'm when, sorry. Yeah. And when she passed away, he actually came to the funeral, which I never would expect somebody that I had just started dating to come. But Father no. Mike is uh, my mimi's brother, and he obviously did the mass. And um, a lot of my cousin's kids, they're altar servers, so they'll be involved. Um we only have one sibling, so my sister will be my maid of honor, and Josh Place will be his uh, best man, and we're not really doing the bridal party thing. We have a lot of flower girls and a lot of um, ring bearers, just because nice. that be, um just less hectic, honestly. like mm-hmm. We really just want to bring our families together. We're going to get married where he proposed to me right on the lake. Um, oh, beautiful. Our, as far as our reception goes, we'll get married at the cathedral. And, um, yeah. And are you doing like yeah. a full Catholic ceremony? Like the long, <laughs> Oh my gosh, oh, yeah, that's going to be beautiful. We're in all the pre cana right now. And, um, yeah. yeah, like it's honestly been, we've enjoyed that process. Like mm-hmm. we think it's honestly, a, I think everybody should do that. Um, just, So, you know, like, and have those conversations and yeah, I, we were, we're, we've been all really good with it. So, um, yeah, we're getting there. I already know who's, you know, what we got our, the cupcake collection and we know we we got, yay. Oh my gosh. I love those cupcakes. They're amazing. (laughs) (laughs) The sweet potato ones. So good. good. Yeah. They're so good. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we we've been pretty good about like honestly, I've been just checking things off and um, cuz you kind of have to get so far in advance. That's the thing, but I'm oh, so yeah. glad that like we're we're getting what we want and and you know, then it'll be kind of like a waiting game, but like beyond mm-hmm. that, like 
you know, you never know how busy you're going to get at the beginning. I know I'm releasing a record at the beginning yeah, right. of next year. So I think just having everything really finalized and figured out. Um, so yeah, it's, it's been mm-hmm. honestly pretty easy and effortless. Um, so far I did all the guest list. We got all that done. Great. That is a all- huge thing yes. to check off your list. That is a yes. rough one to get through. So congrats. <laughs> and I, I have all the addresses. And so now, um, and I just ordered all the save the dates. So we're, awesome. we'll pretty much be able to send those out a year in advance just because we have a lot of relatives on both sides and, a lot of my relatives live in Canada, so um, this okay. way, just hopefully everybody knows and and mm-hmm. can make those arrangements, so we can all be together. Yeah, definitely. So I know you said your reception is going to be by the lake. Are you going to have like it tented, or like kind of what's your vision and like what's your wedding style going to be? Do you want to answer that? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see how well you listen. <laughs> yeah. Um... This is going to be pretty the normal. Uh, we'll have the tents. We'll have the dance floor. Um, we're yeah. keeping it very simple. That way there's not a lot That's of cool. different options on food and stuff. So that way everybody can enjoy the experience rather than focus on, oh, my gosh, you know, the sweet potato cupcakes are the main thing <laughs> the that main pulls thing, away. Right. Yeah. We're, yeah. Yes, it will be tented. Um, awesome. I wanted to bring the, the hardest part for me was kind of like the overall brand of the wedding because you have this very formal ceremony and then mm-hmm. afterwards, you know, getting married at my house, like on the lake and everything is very naturally based, but it's also who we are as people. So, yeah. um, just trying to find this like juxtaposition between the two. So I'm going with aesthetically, my colors are um, black because my sister looks amazing in black. It's her favorite mm-hmm. color. I want her to be comfortable. Yeah. Um, they'll be in black, but also, um, like taupes, browns, coppers, like, and like driftwood, sand colors, like this mix Ooh, of nice. those colors with like a nice chocolate brown that we're going to bring in, but really just trying That's to pull cool. the lake that naturalness make it warm lots of candles um and then we're gonna do southern fair because while we're in the south yes. our guests will want southern fair that would be great the big uh, mashed potatoes sugar. Yeah. like this is like yeah. big so we're just gonna do that because we and honestly we were just thinking about like our guests and like what they like to eat we were thinking maybe italian but it just seemed like it didn't come together. The menu didn't as well. And I just want Mm -hmm. everybody to be full. But for me, like my band, um, I haven't asked them yet, but they're all invited to the wedding, but I want them to do like a jazz trio while people are coming in, but it's my band. Oh, cool. And just a really fun fun DJ uh, probably will be happening because I'll probably hire like a string quartet for like the ceremony and then we'll have the canter and the the organ and stuff but yeah it's all coming together I think like for me I'm so used to having to put on like bigger events and like production that it's not been like something that's like so out of the order I've been the maid of honor twice so Mm -hmm. I'm in a wedding this year so wow it's like you know just kind of be on top of it and enjoy Mm -hmm. it as best as possible because yeah. Yeah, definitely. And I mean, I'm sure music is a big part of it for you just with your career and everything. And so I'm sure that's a really important element that you do want to bring into your wedding. So with the jazz trio, the string quartet, the DJ, like you kind of have like a mix of like all different types of music, like infused into your wedding. And so I yeah. think that's going to be really cool for your guests too. Yeah. Cause I think what happens is people like really start to focus on like the very minute details. And Mm -hmm. for me, like it's about the experience and typically that's going to be entertainment based. And so since I'm an entertainer, that's why I just want it to flow and feel very, very, you know, that moment in the cathedral that you hear those very classic wedding songs, that that's when we're going to go, wow, we're getting married. It's such a beautiful day. And then, you know, afterwards, just having that jazz sound so people can mingle, lightly eat. And then the, the speeches are really important to me. I already know who will be doing that. And, you know, 
we know who's coming. Like they want to have a good time. And yeah, and, totally. Like Jared, the matchmaker. Of like, course. To call himself, he's gonna do a massive speech. Um, oh god. <laughs> so, yeah, we're. And then we we want to have a really fun honeymoon. Like that was the other thing I think people yeah. forget about. Like the honeymoon, and we we have big families, and we really believe in like bringing people together. But we're also the type of people that could have had like ten people and and been totally fine with it. And so mm-hmm. I think that's that's kind of so. At the end of the day, we both were like, we still just want to have a really nice honeymoon together, just us two to take it all in and and be present be Mm -hmm. present I think everything sometimes it's just like these brides I've seen it time and time again just get really overwhelmed with so much and then it's like well was it worth it to you like and I think because it is a lot to put on events it is a lot to do and if you haven't done it yeah it would probably throw you for a loop but so Mm -hmm. far so good. We have yeah. 402 days left, I think, right now. So oh my gosh. Still, I know. You I get the apps and they have the time. countdowns and you're like, plenty of time. Soon. Yeah, exactly. You guys do have plenty of time for sure. Yeah, I'm not <laughs> worried about it. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Well, do you guys have any advice for other couples who are planning their weddings right now? Ooh, um... I was just going to say be present and yeah. stay. Yeah, Again, that's like, a really good one. I think, um, you know, every girl grows up with this like massive like idea of what they want their wedding. And then they start to see like the cost of things. And it's like, well, prioritize, like, what do you want Mm -hmm. your guests to walk away with? I had a really close girlfriend that food was very important in her life. So she put all the money more into this like six course thing, you know, was there a lot of dancing in that? No, but everybody walked away with food was the thing. I think you just have to go, you know, what, what do we want people to walk away with? For Mm -hmm. me, um, by far the most important thing is the ceremony. I wanted, I wanted to get married in a church. I, because my uncle Mike can't marry us unless we're in a church. It's the sacrament Mm -hmm. of it all. That's what differentiates it from like, say a show or an event for me. This is marriage. Like I want to feel all those things that, you know, when my dad's walking me down the aisle and everything like that. So for me, it was really about the ceremony. And to be honest, it's, it's the ceremony that binds you and makes that commitment for life. And it's honestly the cheaper side of everything. And it's the mm-hmm. party that gets so out of hand. So mm-hmm. um, I really think you just, and like, I had to make decisions about like, do we do, you know, a nicer plastic versus real China. And the difference right. was wild. And then like, it you don't have to deal with like, you just throw it away. And I'm like, right. everybody just wants to be our families. They want to dance. So right. I was like, why am I, I could have, you know, what? $2,000 more for something else over a plastic plate. Okay. I don't care. Like, yeah. And there's mm-hmm. really nice plastic. Like, and there's right, there plastic. are. Yeah. So I think that's the thing. Um, stay focused on what you want people to ultimately leave with. And typically, mm-hmm. it's it's those moments of the speech. It's all the, the great moments. And it's not like if the tables are round or square or, right. <laughs> you know, yeah. the colors of the decor. I think brides really get stuck on decor so much. Oh, yeah, for but, sure. But, um, that should all honestly come last. I mean, that should, you should figure that part out really towards the end of it. But Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. I mean, like you said, the most important part is like you guys are getting married or, you know, declaring in front of all of your friends and family that like, this is the person for you. And you guys have really like taken that seriously with doing the classes and everything, getting married in the Catholic church and stuff. And, um, you know, making sure that your uncle is really a big part of it and everything. And so I definitely commend you on that because it's the rest of your lives and, you know, ensuring that beforehand is, is really a good place to be in. And, um, instead of getting caught up in all the little things. And so bravo to you guys on that. (laughs) But Yeah. Um, and so do you tell us more as we're closing out, like, what you said you have a new album coming out like what are the projects that you're working on next and where can we find you online 
Sure, thank you. Um, yeah, I, I just, well, I'm about to release, I don't know when this podcast is coming up, but I'm about to release um, a live album um, that I did last December right before I met Taylor. And that has already started to roll out, but it's, um, cool. you'll, you'll find that's available on vinyl. My very first oh, vinyl, it's fun. awesome. I thank love you. vinyl. Yeah, um, I have a Christmas duet coming out in, wow. at, around November with Mark McKay. But next year is, a, it, I'm really excited about this studio album, but it'll be coming out hopefully first quarter next year. But yeah, cool. Just, uh, really appreciate everybody keeping up with me. The, yeah. <laughs> the, come out to shows. Do That's exciting. Yeah. So do you, are you going to tour off of your album then, like in the spring next year? Yeah, Is that kind I of mean, the plan? We never really stop touring, but as far as, right. yeah, I mean, the goal is to put a really great tour together to support the album, just awesome. like any other one. But um, yeah, this was a lot of work, a lot of effort, by far my, I think, best album that I will have ever done. Yeah, so congratulations. So, yeah, that's so awesome. Thank you. Uh, well, I'm so happy for you guys. Congratulations. And I cannot wait to see your wedding photos online. I'm fo already following you guys. I'm along for the journey. So um, and of course, if you need any help, let me know. <laughs> but yeah, Probably thank will. you guys. Yeah. Thank you guys again for taking the time and go check out Morgan online and listen to her music. All right. Have a good one. Thanks guys. Thank you. Bye. Thanks for tuning in to the wedding reporter podcast. I hope you learned a little bit and had fun today to find more resources and podcast episodes, visit NashvilleBrideGuide.com for more information. And as always click the subscribe button and leave us a review. Until next time, I'm Alyssa DeChico, signing off.